Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the first question is at pH 7 the charge on glutamic acid molecule is and you have to choose one of these answers. For those who don't know the answer it is actually very easy to find the answer if you know that only two amino acids has negative charge. Both of them are acidic amino acids. One of them glutamic acid and another one is going to be aspartic acid. We call them acidic amino acids. Only these two amino acids has acid in their name. If only two amino acids would be acidic, why we call amino acids amino acids? Because they have amino group and acidic group. Amino group has positive charge and carboxylic acid group has negative charge. So they both would cancel each other and on the overall amino acid is going to be neutral. But two amino acids, as I said, glutamic acid and aspartic acid also has carboxyl group in the R chain. So would have one more negative charge. So the correct answer is going to be that at pH 7 and normal internal pH of our blood is going to be close to 7.4 would be negative 1. So charge is going to be negative 1 and this is answer B. And one more note, if two amino acids which are acidic has negative charge, only three amino acids would have positive charge. And those amino acids would be basic amino acids and all the rest are going to be neutral. Again, this is only true for the pH 7, 7.4. And next question, which of the following statements is most likely to be true of nonpolar R groups in aqueous solution? Imagine that this is protein and in aqueous solution water is polar polar molecule, so we have oxygen and two hydrogens. And oxygen would be slightly negatively charged and hydrogens would have slightly positive charge. Amino acids which has nonpolar R groups we will find mostly inside of the proteins and very few we will find outside. And outside of the protein we will find R groups which are going to be polar or which are going to be charged and very few we will find inside. R groups that are going to be polar or charged we will find outside of the protein and those which are going to be non-polar and non-charged we mostly will find inside of the protein. But sometimes we also can see proteins like this and for example the structure would be as follows. Here outside we will find polar and charged amino acids and here we are going to find non-polar and uncharged amino acids which also would have the uh, R groups outside of the protein. Also in this part inside we will find uh, amino acid groups which are going to be hydrophobic and here we are going to find uh, R groups which are going to be hydrophilic. Imagine that this is lipid bilayer and outside of this bilayer this phospholipids the heads are going to be hydrophilic because outside of the uh, cell we will have water and inside also mostly it's going to be water but inside is going to be hydrophobic tails which create hydrophobic environment and this is explains the structure of such proteins which are going to have hydrophilic part and hydrophobic part. Now let's read our question again which of the following statements is most likely to be true of nonpolar R groups in aqueous solution and as you see the correct answer is going to be answer C. Nonpolar R groups are going to be hydrophobic and found buried within proteins 
And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.